Hi, it's Adam from Rally Ray Products. Today we're looking at the new billet GPS mount for 12mm bar. Uh, this was just released yesterday by us, available online. Uh, so this is a billet aluminium piece with black anodized. Uh, this is to suit 12mm crossbar and navigation bar. And in here you can get your, Gar uh, your Garmin mounts, your Ram mounts and your TomTom -tom motorcycle mounts. For your you might notice the T7s are looking a bit dirty. That's because this weekend we're at a Rally Moto Adventure Cannonball run. So these are uh, UK events put on by Rally Moto. A good mix of sort of road and off-road, about 50-50. And there's a good number of bikes out there. So what we're gonna do is get this on to the T7 and then we're gonna put some different mounts on it. I'm gonna be using the Garmin Rugged mount on this bike, but we'll also throw a couple of different Ram mounts. Okay, so this is how you're gonna receive the piece from us. Uh, the first step you wanna do is break it down into its components like I've done here. So you have the back clamp, the front clamp, and the top plate. So the first thing to do is get the back clamp and the front clamp onto the 12mm bar using the M6 bolts provided. Um, you'll notice it has a logo, laser etch logo. Make sure you get that the right way around because it's annoying if, if you have to go back and turn it around. Um, for this, I'm gonna be using Loctite 248. So this is a, a medium strength Loctite. 248 is the one we recommend for sort of most applications on a motorcycle. A little bit of Loctite on. Move over to the bike, make sure we have that the right way around. So you can see uh, the way we've designed this, you need no access to the back of the clamp. And this is really important for those bikes that are short of space in the cockpit area, or you just don't actually want to take the screen off to put your GPS clamp on and off. And I'm just going to check the angle with the top plate. Okay, so you can see the angles coming up like that. That's about perfect for me. Um, I don't like it pointing too forward because when you're standing, it's really hard to read. For this, I'm going to be using a torque wrench. You want to be doing it to 12 Newton meters. Because we're using the lock tonic, we don't have to go as hard as normal. So there we go, nice 12 Newton meters. And that's going to be plenty to hold our GPS in place without damaging anything. Okay, so I've checked the angle. I've Loctited and cranked up my bolts to 12 Newton meters. So the next step is to put my top plate on. So you want to be running it in landscape or portrait depending on your needs. Uh, for this setup, I'm going to go landscape. I think it will work better with the area around the cockpit. So a little bit of Loctite, like we said before, and we're just going to get that mounted on like so. And then we're going to hit it again with our torque wrench. And this time we're going to go up to 16. There we go. So that's super secure now, uh, not going anywhere, just time to put our GPS mount on. So here you can see on the uh, first setup, we've just gone with a basic ramble, um, but this isn't what I'm looking for, so let's see what else we can do. Okay, so I also wanted to try the uh, Ram Easy Roller mount for the Garmin 62. That's still a, a widely used uh, GPS system. The only problem is we're gonna have to rotate it. So let's just quickly this is the Ram Easy Roller case for the Garmin 62. Still quite a widely used uh, GPS device. As you can see, that fits on there nicely. All I had to do was rotate the piece to a portrait position. Okay, last but not least, we have our Garmin Rugged mount. This is already wired into the bike. Um, like I said earlier, we're out at the weekend with Rally Moto, so that was in use. So all we've got to do is just line this back up and get those bolts in. Okay, and there it is. Uh, I think it's a really nice way to sort of keep the front of the T7 nice and clean and minimal. You can see here you've got still a good amount of clearance on all areas of the bike. And a nice little logo that you can see through the screen there. Uh, one of the main things about this GPS uh, device is that it allows us to keep our top clamp clear. A lot of navigation events not only require a GPS, also a manual road book or an electric one too. So everything's fitted and secure now. Um, you can see that we've got the Garmin rugged mount up there. And one last thing I want to show you, and this is the fitment of an F2R manual road book directly onto our billet top clamp for the T7. So this is a really uh, useful and not too expensive way of getting like a complete road book navigation setup onto your T7. But everything in this video is available online at www.rally-raidproducts.co.uk and available for shipping worldwide.